Good evening. I am Rudunanda. Today I am here to join Mundari Week Roundup. School Headline We are the winners. GHSS Mundari celebrate victory with the rally. Sahur the club of GHSS Mundari conducted awareness class for parents. News in details. The teachers and students of GHSS Mundari celebrated the victory of HSS Championship in Sabjilla Youth Festival. Took place in GHSS Chala with Rally. All the students worked and danced from Kani Road to Kudikimota in band concert. The students are appreciated in school assembly also. Saurda so Club of our school GHSS Mundari conducted awareness class for parents called Makale Araya. The program was inaugurated by Sri Ashraf P, member of Munderi Gramma Panchayat. Class was taken by Sri Balsar, motivational speaker, trainer and psychologist. The program was presented by our school principal Sri Manoj Kumar sir. And welcome address was done by Sahurda Club Coordinator Mrs. Mini R.K. Miss. And the program was felicitated by Sri Satyarajan Sir, Coordinator of Career Guidance. And the Staff Secretary Sri Vinod Kumar Sir also. And the vote of thanks done by Sri Nanda, Sahurda Club, Club Leader. Thank you. Signing off, Rudu Nanda. Good evening. I am Abhilashvi. Today, I am here to join Mundari Week Roundup. This week's Kerala headlines. Peria Maraki accused in Ayurveda hospital for one month caught kept in dark. Dealers to shut down ration shops for Saturday as government slasher commission. Man attacks woman doctor who reported death of his wife. Writer Sadish Babu Payanur passes away. Kerala government asks center for more fiscal powers, approval of silver line. Headlines in detail. P. Dambaran accused number one in the Peria double murder case and former CPI member is in Kannur Government Ayurveda Hospital for the past month without informing the special CBI court. Ration shops across Kerala will shut down for an indefinite period from Saturday number 26 in the protest against the drastic cut in the commission for dealers. A man kicked a woman doctor who reported the death of his wife at Tiranduira Medical College. The doctor came out from the ICU and informed the husband about the demise. Enraged, the man kicked the doctor, security personnel and others rescued her. Not a writer, Sadish Babu Payanur was found dead in his fat in Vanichar on Thursday. There seemed to be no abnormality in his death, informed the police. Kerala Finance Minister Ken Balagobal asked the central government for more fiscal power and approval for the controversial Silver Line project, the semi-high-speed railway line from Tirandura to Kasargod. Thank you. Signing off, Ablashvi. Good evening, everyone. I am Surigiran. Today, I am here to join Mundari Week Round Up. This week's national headlines. And show workers of Pratnalishin ILO me trade union ask of Upendra Yata. Supreme Court seeks government response on including same sex marriage under Special Marriage Act. Delhi High Court restrains use of Amida Bachchan's pictures, voice, and name without his consent. Fundamental duties should be the first priority of citizens. Prime Minister Modi. PSLV C-54 carrying Earth Observation Satellite and Co-Passenger Satellites lifts off. News in detail. Air Trade Union's right to Labour Minister pointing out that time is running to comply with ILO suggestion on four-way trip right delegation. The Supreme Court on Friday sought the government's response to please to allow solemnation of same-sex marriage under the Special Marriage Act. 
The Special Marriage Act of 1954 provides a civil form of marriage for couples who cannot marry under the personal law. The Delhi High Court on Friday passed an intain order restraining persons at large from infringing the personality and publicity rights of Bollywood actor Amitabh Bachchan. Mr. Bachchan approached the court seeking an omnibus under protecting his name, image, voice, or any of his characteristics without his consent in any way or form. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday said, fulfilling fundamental duties should be the first priority of citizens to take the nation to greater heights as it matches ahead towards the centrality of its independence. A polar satellite launch vehicles carrying Earth's observation and eight core passengers satellites successfully lifted off from his spaceport at 11.56 a.m. on Saturday, the Indian Space Research Organization said. ISO chairman S. Somanath said the performance was excitingly good in the mission. The mission is said to be the last one sun. Last one undertaken by ISRO this year. Good evening to all. I'm Gopi Kapi. Today I'm here to join Munderi Week Roundup. This week's international headlines Half of Kiev residents still without electricity after strikes. Nepal elections. Shay Bado Devas ruling coalitions maintains lead. Mexican president suffers court rivers. Tensions arise. Swedish activists sue states over its climate policies. Trial begins for two Swedes charged with spying for Russia. News in details. Half of Kiev residents still without electricity after strikes. Nearly half of Kiev residents were still without electricity as engineers battled to restore service after two days. Nepal elections. Shehbadu Devas ruling coalition maintains lead. Prime Minister Shehbadu Devas Nepal Congress lead ruling coalition on November 26 maintain its lead in Nepal parliamentary elections. Mexican president suffers court reverse tension strikes. Mexico Supreme Court has struck down part of President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador's jail no bail program. Swedish activists sue states over its climate policies. Hundreds of activists had marched through the Swedish capital to file a lawsuit against the state for insufficient climate actions. Trial begins for two Swedes charged with spying for Russia. Two Iranian-born Swedish brothers are standing trial in Sweden on charges of spying for Russia and its military intelligence service. GRU for a decade. So the news is wind up. Thank you. Signing off. Gopi Kapi. Good evening. I'm Sinjay Srini. Now I'm here to join with the Monday Week Roundup. Sports FIFA World Cup 2022 Opening Ceremony held at Al Bayt Stadium in Qatar on 20th November. France legend Marcel Disseli presented the World Cup trophy. Second T20 cricket match, India won by 65 runs. World Cup news. Qatar vs Ecuador, Ecuador won by 2 goals. Saudi vs Argentina, Saudi Shock Shakes World Cup. Stunts Argentina, rallying from 1 goal defeat and listlessness in the first half. Spain vs Costa Rica, Spain won by 7 goals. Portugal vs Ghana, Portugal started their 2022 World Cup campaigning with a no-rucking 3-2 win over Ghana. Portugal captain Cristiano Ronaldo on Thursday created history by becoming the first man to score in the 5 FIFA World Cup. Brazil vs Serbia, Richardson scored a second half brace as 5-time champions. Brazil swept aside Serbia to register a 2-0 win. In tennis, Novak Djokovic has defeated Norway's Kasper Ruud to collect a record equaling 6th ATP finals title in Italy. 
former Indian team football captain Babu Mani has passed away on the 19th November at the age of 59. That's all for today. We'll be back with more news on the next week. Until then, thank you. Go.